Okay, well, this is a, a small refracting telescope. This has about a three and a half inch aperture, I think, three and a half inch lens up in front. And it's on an equatorial mount, which will track and compensate for the Earth's rotation so you can keep things centered in the uh, telescope's field of view. But uh, you can use a telescope to look at the sun, but you have to be very careful. Don't, don't ever take a telescope, point it at the sun, and look through it, because you'll never see anything again in that eye. Uh, you have to be very, very cautious when using a telescope to observe the sun. But I'm going to show you a safe way of viewing the sun. Uh, first of all, to point a telescope like this at the sun, what you want to look at is the shadow on the ground. Uh, because uh, all you have to do is make that shadow as small as you can get it. And then you know you're pointed approximately at the sun. So that's how you can actually point the telescope. And what you can do is project the image. Uh, here I got a box with uh, some white paper on the inside. And you can simply project the sun's image onto that paper. And that's what you'll see. Huh. What's that black spot and on the that sun? That black spot is, well, that's, that's a sunspot right there. That's, a, that's actually a pretty big sunspot. So that's not dirt. That's, that's not dirt. That's act because what notice it moves with the sun when I move that around like that. And so that's a, very, that's a safe way of viewing the sun. Uh, and it now, works, works very well. Didn't Galileo first discover sunspots? Uh, he did, well, actually, Galileo was the first to observe them and publish his results. Uh, there were other people around the same time also observing sunspots. But, uh, yeah, based on the motions of these spots from day to day to day, he was able to determine the rotation period of the sun. But that sort of contradicted the way people thought at the time. The sun was supposed to be a perfect ideal celestial or heavenly body, and these blemishes on the sun told Galileo that it wasn't so perfect as people had thought. Now Galileo, didn't he do eye damage from using his telescope? Well, sometimes it said that might be the case, but probably not. Uh, he did go blind in, when he was in his 70s, but uh, it's probably not because he actually looked through his telescope at the sun. I think he would be smarter than that. Another myth yeah, I busted. Yeah, that's an old wives' tale. Now the reason you don't want to look through the telescope is because this is what would happen to your eye. Well, that's not going to work because there's too many clouds right now. Ooh, but it is bright. It's hurting my eyes oh. just looking at it. Oh, I see it starting to burn a little bit. Is it? Yeah, there we go. Up, oh, we do have smoke. So that would damage the uh, the old peepers, huh? Yeah, that would not be good for the retina of your eye. So that's why you never point a telescope at the sun and look through it, but you can observe it like this and that's perfectly safe. Excellent, well thank you, sir. Sure.